Water is up. Good again. Water is up. All right, so a quick pack up um, with the concertina bag just to show you how easy it is. You can come a bit closer, mate, and come right in here. So as a habit, I always just clip my, um, clip my risers together there, and then always do this one. First one through. Just keep passing it through and grabbing it. Just stops it getting too tangled up to about there. Now the good thing about the concertina bag, um, and it changed my life forever when I got it, it just made the pack up so easy, but what it does is it protects the cells. So this is the top here, and I think it actually has a bit of an arrow. When you zip it up, there's a bit of an arrow. And simply, Grab the glider roughly in the middle and just start packing the cells together. Grab a couple at a time. Even if the glider is not neatly folded and spread out, it doesn't matter. I try to shove it in the bag different every time. Someone that's a bit more, um, got a few more years under their belt, just told me that it's good, a good habit to not fold the glider the same way each time. The one part you do fold the same way each time is bunching these cells up together so that they don't get packed and twisted. They actually all get flat packed together. And that's why they call it a concertina bag because it's like a concertina door. All these ribs coming together. So, the rest of them, or even all the way out to these little ones on the end. Grab all of them too, that very last tiny one. You want to protect him as well. So now it's a bit of a mess and if it was windy and it's, it's still, that's all you need to do. Just get that together. And then you've got these little clips. I'll grab the first one, shove it under, shove it under the glider. Bring that out sort of recover that first clip and once you get that first clip together it starts to organize it all and it's not a big mess then then you feel like you're getting somewhere now all these cells are still they're all together and we're going to do something different with them in a minute but we just get them in there and then just flick that out a bit I'm not going to fold it in any neat special way. I'm just going to bunch it up. And as I said, slightly different each time, slightly different style, just to make sure I'm not folding it the same way each time. Then you grab that next clip. Clip him in there. Repeat the same thing. There's one more. There's usually three. There's the third little fella. And then the last bit, this stuff's in the end of the bag. So, again, I'm not trying too hard to be too fancy and neat with my folding. If I was going to pack it away for a long time, for a month or so, I might get a bit more effort. But if I'm going to have it out in a couple of days, potentially tomorrow. And then what I do with this is just sort of layer it in there so that it's not going to become all matted. I didn't do that too well that time, but anyway. Bring that in there. Might shove it, try to separate it a bit so it's not going to get all like that. That should be all right. Then you're not like jump, you're not sticking your knee on it, you're not like bashing it around. You're sort of always being gentle just with your hands. Then we come back up to here. So we've got a, a good even amount all the way through. And then what I want to do is just kind of lay that over. But when it gets folded, they're even more protected because they're flat. And then each time I might fold it, lay it a different way. I don't know if that helps. Zip that up. Make sure you don't get any material caught in your zip. There is this little black tag here that helps, but don't trust it. 
just make sure it'd be pretty bad to damage your glider by zipping it up. Right, oh, now a nice little even packed sausage there. And then simply where that stitch line is, is usually where you fold it. There's another stitch line there, you fold it again. And it should fold up in thirds. And you fold it from the back forwards. You don't want to fold the other way because then the um, cells will end up shoved up. So at the moment, those cells are here and the, the hard spine on the cells finishes here somewhere. So they're not even bent at all and they're laying nice and flat. Squash some of that area. Then you got these little fellas here. And another really cool thing about the concertina bag is that packs down and you can really squash it down to get it in a backpack. But when you get home, you just undo these um, and lay it out flat and then even unzip and sort of spread the cells out if you want. But look at that. What a ripper. Good to go.